أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق إقرأ ربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم صدق الله العظيم English translation In the name of Allah the all merciful the very merciful read with the name of your lord who created everything he created man from a clot of blood read and your lord is the most gracious who imparted knowledge by means of the pen he taught man what he did not know एंड उर्दू ट्रांसलेशन शुरू करता हूँ अल्लाह के नाम से जो बड़े मेहरबान और नहायत रहम वाले हैं आप अपने रब का नाम लेकर पढ़िए जिसने पैदा किया जिसने इंसान को खून के लोथरे से पैदा किया आप पढ़िए और आपका रब बड़ा करीम है जिसने कलम से तालीम दी इंसान को उन चीज़ों की तालीम दी जिनको वो ना जानता था अल्लाम These were the verses of Holy Quran, highlighting the importance of knowledge in Islam and in the religion. Now it's the high time that we listen to the University Tirana. the university tarana was being played now it's the high time that we listen to today orientation programs report but before that our students mad students are welcoming our today's guest first of all i request sumaya momin to offer a bouquet to our registrar sahab who is presiding over the function today who happened to be the president of the function <coughs> Maryam Jamila offers a bouquet to Professor Ram Chandran, our beloved resource person. <laughs> Sabiha Naz, steam resource person. Professor Sudhakar. Samreen Fatima. offers a bouquet to our dean madam request our dean madam to present who happened to be the coordinator of this today orientation program please give a big hand today orientation program the coordinator of the program professor h katija begum the dean school of education training presents today's report good evening everybody respected uh, chief guest who is presiding the valedictory session professor rahmatullah saab our registrar uh the esteemed resource persons who have been here for these two days orientation workshop and who has been with us in clarifying our doubts as well as 
giving lot of inputs related to the uh, curriculum framework which has come up with new dimensions. My dear participants as well as my colleagues. See, as you know, that yesterday we started with our inaugural session. And just for your information, I would like to inform you that there are 83 participants who have attended this orientation workshop. That means 83 resource persons have been prepared with this two days deliberations. And uh, it definitely goes in a long way in order to inform and to get informed from time to time while implementing or executing the discussions and the outcomes and how to go about what should be the plan of action while reframing our curriculum, et cetera, will make us to, or which, which may facilitate us rather in adapting the type of learning activities and the, life of, the, and the type of learning outcomes that we are expecting out of this orientation workshop. I'm extremely thankful for our uh, esteemed uh, resource persons, Professor Ramchandran Sahab, who has been considered as a fountain of knowledge for every question he has an answer. And that too, <laughs> and that too, you know, initiating his experiences with an exposure of 70, visiting 70 countries is not, it itself is an unusual thing. Because if one tries to visit at least a country per year, I think it is difficult to visit 70 countries within 70 years, right from the birth itself. So Sir has made an extensive and exhaustive, you know, uh, travel in order to learn and in order to get aware, awareness as well as, and he's ready to share with all of us that itself shows how inquisitive he is and how uh, responsive he is and how positive he is. And whenever I was, I have been, uh, happened to speak to him for these two days, he was always saying that I'm a, I'm learning. This shows his, th you know, thirst for learning. And this itself is an example for all of us in order to, you know, make use of our cognitive abilities in learning things, new things, and also in order to assimilate them while, uh, while executing our plan of action in the classroom as well as outside the classroom while interacting with the students so that a, an expected outcome of learning should come out. With lot of empathy and with lot of uh, ethical integrity, the way how he was explaining, that was amazing. I hope you all agree with me with this. And coming to our Professor Sudhakar Saab, who has been, uh, with whom I have been associated almost all since uh, 30, 35 years, almost all, the more than three and a half decades. And uh, since I have joined, of course, earlier I was associated with one of the affiliated colleges of Usmania University. Uh, at that time also, he was always helpful in uh, making us to understand things related to our education, as well as when we came here, when we started establishing our department, School of uh, Education and Training in this university, he is always comes to our rescue, and he always used to be helpful whenever we seek his help. Of course, there are so many other personalities who are sitting from Usmania University, Mrinalini, Ramakrishna Saab. Of course, our, now our colleague, uh, Ghanta Ramesh Saab, he himself was also associated with us because we have started our School of Education and Training here from scratch. 
nothing was available. Just the DEd program as a regular mode program has started here with uh, uh, that, that, that was the first on-campus program which has started in 2001. And the regular department started established in 2004 where six faculty members have been recruited on a regular basis. Because, of course, uh, you may be thinking why Madam is going to, instead of, uh, you know, uh, giving the report, why she is telling all this, because most of the people who have come all along the way from Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, different universities, they may not be knowing, because we didn't find any time to tell about what is MANU, what is School of Education and Training of MANU, and uh, how many, how this department has come about, just that, in that way, in that sense, I just tried to share with you. And coming to this uh, two-day workshop, uh, see, uh, the inauguration, all of you have been attending. It has started with a very good note that uh, the esteemed chancellor of our university himself has an, uh, inaugurated this program. And uh, a great visionary and eminent scholar of our uh, university, Professor Mohammad Mia Saab, uh, he being the teacher educationist, uh, has come to preside the function. And along with him, uh, there was the NCT chairman, Professor Sant Santosh Panda himself was attending the inaugural session. That was really a great privilege to this orientation workshop which has come to its successful end. And in the afternoon session, the elaborative discussions on MED two-year program have been dealt by Professor Ramchandran Sahab. And he has given us the detailed inputs, how the framework, with which context it has come up, and how to go about in future, uh, keeping in view of all the possibilities of making it successful, and and the and the and uh, the and the proposed keeping in view of the proposed uh, titles also, he has given all the inputs related to that. And the uh, followed by discussion session was also very successful. And questions related to so many issues regarding to assessment, regarding to grading system, regarding to uh, credit-based, choice-based credit system, and the semester system have been discussed. Of course, MED program, most of the universities are adopting the semester system, uh, whereas we all have some doubts related to the choice-based credit system. They were also being discussed in detail. And uh, regarding to today's session morning, Professor Sudhakar Sahib has given us the detailed structure of this two-year B.Ed program. And uh, he too has explained how to go about and uh, of course, you, you have been here today and since morning you have been listening. I don't want to repeat them unnecessarily because you have been listening since morning. So the deliberations, what I feel, instead of uh, they were just making us to learn each other as well as they are just like, a, I, I felt myself sitting over there that it is just not just exchange of our ideas, but it is just like a kind of brainstorming session, which is also making us to think, think, think before coming to a conclusion. Uh, still, we are having some doubts regarding, though it has been written and given in the larger context of the curriculum framework that these are the areas that we, we are supposed to be adopted, and these are the optionals that we are supposed to be adopted, and the fieldwork-based activities that we have to incorporate it in our uh, syllabi while devising the syllabi, et cetera. But still, I hope we have to once again go through 
thoroughly after going to our respective places. And within our universities, anyhow, we are going to have our own departmental meetings before uh, getting the validation of our new syllabi. Of course, every university has to go uh, for the approvals of regulatory bodies of, your, of their board of studies, school boards, academic councils, etc. There, before uh, presenting over there, we should have our own discussion and time to time, and if possible, we should have a kind of interaction with one university with the other also. We can have some kind of interactions because now, technology-enabled learning or uh, use of technology uh, definitely will come to our rescue in uh, minimizing our doubts and maxi facilitating us in order to make use of uh, the, the kind of processes, the way how we are, we are going to plan our plan of action in devising our curriculum processes. So, uh, I am very uh, thankful to all uh, the participants who have been here, who have been, uh, see whatever the facilities that we could be able to uh, provide you, we have done. Of course, if, it, if at all any lacunae that have been you felt by you, uh, they should be admitted because we are all belonging to the same fraternity of uh, teacher educators. Uh, I hope, uh, I, we have tried to learn many things together, and in due course of time also, we, be, we may be in a position to learn with each other. Thank you. Thank you a feedback form also, in order to give your impressions. Some of the impressions were a little bit, you know, they, are, they, they too need a lot of, uh, you know, clarification from our experts. I hope because lack of time, sir is also leaving, and uh, I will mail him these uh, questions, and uh, probably we may get the replies, and as soon as I get these replies, I will forward to you because we have got your mobile numbers as well as email addresses. Thank you. The Dean, School of Education Training, and the coordinator of the program, Professor H. Khatija Begum was presenting the report of this two-day orientation program. Now, it's a time that we should be able to listen to the responses of our fellow participants. We wanted to hear, we wanted to listen to almost all participants, but time does not permit us, and it is therefore two of uh, you are selected, and may I request them, these two participants, to please briefly present their responses about the two-day program. Sir, <clears throat> especially Professor Sudhakar, sir, may I tell you that uh, our students were happy yesterday and they are happy today also in this two-day orientation program for two reasons that I could listen from them. Kal is baat se khush thay ke bohat achcha hua do saal ka jo course hai wo agle saal se shuru ho raha hai hum baj gaye. और आज इसलिए खुश है कि दो साल का जो प्रोग्राम बन रहा है वो और भी अच्छा बन रहा है ये मैं समझता हूँ कि आपके दोनों के प्रेजेंटेशन की वजह से एक चेंज मैंने स्टूडेंट्स में महसूस किया कल अपना एक साल बचने की खुशी मना रहे थे और आज प्रोग्राम को अच्छा बनाने के सिलसिले में जो एन की तरफ से कोशिश हो रही है उसके सिलसिले में खुशी है कल भी मैंने बच्चों के चेहरों पर खुशी देखी आज भी मैं खुशी को देख रहा हूँ महसूस कर रहा हूँ नाउ लेट एस सी वॉट आर Delegates say, first of all, I invite Professor Madhu Kapani from Satya Sai Institute of Higher Learning, Anantapur. Respected Professor S. Rahmatullah Sahib, Professor K. Ramachandran, Professor V. Sudhakar, Professor Katija Begum, Professor Siddiqui Muhammad, respected elders and participants, a very good evening to all of you. Well, I was asked to represent the participants and say a few words. 
At the outset, I would like to thank the organizers, that is NCTE and Manu, for giving us this platform to share our views, our ideas, and just now Madam said it was a brainstorming session to clarify many of the points which were not clear regarding the two-year B.Ed. and M.Ed. program. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, NCT, for giving us this opportunity. Well, teacher education program, we say that teachers are nation builders. And this program, as many of us have expressed, that due to mushrooming of such colleges, the quality had gone down. Teachers are responsible nation builders. And if we analyze, we see that there are three types of teachers. The complaining teacher, the explaining teacher, and the inspiring teacher. What we need to be is inspiring teachers if we want our nation to develop and go much ahead. There is an analogy, and that is the teachers can be compared to overhead water tank and students to the taps. As the water in the tank, so will be the water in the taps. So a lot of responsibility lies on us, the teacher educators, the teacher education departments, and what NCT has done, I feel, has rightly taken this decision of strengthening the program so that we can take up this responsibility and take the nation forward. Coming to the program here and the uh, you know, arrangements done, I would again like to thank for taking care of all our you know, comforts and uh, this is the first time that I have visited this campus. The ambience is beautiful. Buildings are beautiful. There's much to